Hey guys, this is Josie S. Kilpack, author of the Sadie Hoffmiller Culinary Mystery Series. Thanks for joining me as I make some of my favorite recipes. The recipe we're going to make today is called Cheater Sourdough. It's featured in Fortune Cookie, which is the ninth book in the Sadie Hoffmiller Culinary Mystery Series. It just has four ingredients. We've just got water, all-purpose flour, yeast, I prefer instant yeast, and salt. So to make our Cheater Sourdough, we've got six and a half cups of all-purpose flour, three cups of warm water, teaspoon, sorry, tablespoon and a half of salt, and a tablespoon and a half of yeast. We are going to start by just adding our dry ingredients. Take a second to mix it. And then we add our water. Now in the beginning I'm using just a paddle to mix that in but it will get too thick and the paddle won't be very functional. So I am going to be mixing it with my hands. Some people get grossed out by that. I don't. I promise you that I washed my hands really, really well before starting this recipe. The paddle is helpful in the beginning when it's just so, so sticky. But eventually it gets feeling like you just can't quite get, you can't quite get it all incorporated. So that's the point where you get rid of the paddle and you just mix it with your hands. <laughs> it makes a really sticky dough. It's supposed to be really sticky. It's supposed to be really soft. Once that you have mixed it, so that there are no more clumps of flour. That's all that you're going for. You don't have to knead this bread, but you do have to let it sit. So we are gonna cover it with a towel and we're gonna let it sit for five and a half hours. And during that time, it's gonna raise and it might fall, but that's okay. So this is a great bread to make in the morning and then just let it sit on your counter until you're ready to make dinner that night. Okay, we have let our cheater sourdough bread rise for about five hours. Now at this point, if you wanted to, you could put it in the fridge in an airtight container, but leave the lid a little bit off and you can store it in your fridge for up to a week. The longer you store it, the more sourdough bread flavor that you're going to get in it, which is awesome. But we're gonna go ahead and make it today. So we've let it sit. It's gotten nice and bubbly, you can see. And now we're gonna shape it. So I'm just scraping it away from the edges of the bowl. I'm gonna put a little bit of flour down on my counter so that it doesn't stick and then I'm just going to scrape it out. Now it is a very soft dough so it's not the easiest thing to work with so don't be afraid to add some flour onto it. You're not really kneading it, you're just kind of making it prettier. And it doesn't have to be totally smooth, this is kind of a peasant kind of bread, kind of a country bread. Now I'm going to bake it on this baking sheet and I'm going to put down some semolina flour. Semolina flour is the stuff that's at the bottom of your pizza when you get a pizza from the pizza restaurant. It's just a really coarse flour, gluten free, so it doesn't stick. And that's just going to help it so that it doesn't stick to my pan. So now I'm going to put my, put my loaf there in the center of it. I'm going to just flour the top just lightly and I'm going to cut into it so that it's nice and pretty after we bake it. Then I'm going to cover the pan again and now I'm going to go and I'm going to preheat my oven to 450 degrees and I'm going to let this rise while my oven is preheating. As soon as I hit 450 degrees then I'm going to put it in with a pan of water in order to steam it. Here's the final product of our cheater sourdough. It doesn't always turn out pretty, but it, it tastes better than it looks sometimes. Other times it looks as good as it tastes. This book bread is excellent, fresh. It's not as great the next day. 
So if you're gonna make it, eat it that night or store the dough in the fridge for a couple of days um, so that you can have it when you need it. Also be sure to put a pan of just water on the lower rack in your oven. This keeps the crust from getting too thick and too tough. You want a light, thin, flaky crust. But this is, this is the best quick sourdough bread you'll ever have. Hey guys, all the recipes from the Sadie Hoffmiller Culinary Mystery Series are available for free online. You can access these through my website, www.josieskilpack.com. Click on books and choose whichever book of your choice, which will include a link to the first chapters as well as the recipes, which you can then download and print off and use however you want. If you'd like all the recipes, they're available in Sadie's Little Black Recipe Book along with 25 bonus recipes. Happy cooking!